Can you do something with this? What is it? A sedative, maybe? That's what I was told. I'm not sure I can help you with that. It would take more skill than I have to determine what it is. Tylus is the only one who can help you. Can you examine this for me? My time is limited, but your potion looks interesting. Well, it was supposed to be a tranquilizer, but it doesn't work. Supposed to be? Pah! Only facts matter here. I estimate I'll need half a day for a proper analysis. What do I owe you? Nothing. It's essential you know the constituents. I don't want you killing someone by mistake. Come back in a few hours. I'll have the initial results then. About the tranquilizer. Okay, so my analysis is complete. Your concoction is anything but a tranquilizer. Then what is it? Well, your drug has little effect on humans. Apart from a numb tongue and potency issues. I found clear evidence of mushroom spores. To be more precise, cave mushroom spores. They're very rare in this region. So I'm wondering where you got this tincture from. Caracas. Aha, from the Morcons then. Those simpletons shouldn't be playing around with alchemy. But back to my findings. In relation to non-human subjects, this drug is fascinating. Especially when combined with the spores I mentioned. It causes a significant rise in blood pressure and an attack on the central nervous system. The result? Greatly increased aggression. Of course, that's just a rough summary, but I hope sufficient for you to understand. Yeah, thanks for the information. All in the name of science. Only, uh, please don't tell anyone I didn't charge you. Otherwise, every chancer around here will think he can get treatment at my expense. Here, uh, take your concoction. If anyone discovers this dishwater amongst my vials, my reputation will be in jeopardy. Whoever created this mixture had no idea that they were very close to achieving what they intended. They just shouldn't have added the spores. Now, I must get back to my work. Ugh. Forgotten about it again. If I don't get a handle on it, that thing is going to happen to me.
Gotta make hay while the sun shines. No one wants to hear my opinion. You're not the first person to say that. I've never heard such nonsense. Gotta make hay while the sun shines. Ah, oh, you're back. So? Did you manage to find out what's wrong with the tranquilizer? Yeah. Had it examined. Well, don't keep me waiting. The cave mushrooms were the dud ingredient. I... I don't get it. The recipe said they were a key component. Seems the outlaw was full of shit. The spores trigger an aggressive behavior. Rather than quieting the beast, it makes them crazy. Son of a bitch! Then the drug's unusable! Not necessarily. If I understood it right, if you take out the cave mushrooms, the recipe should work. Hmm. I'll think about it. Well, now that's done, you should find Attila. The cages are full again. He'll want the arena open so the killing can continue. Here? Good. Venya's done herself proud this time. Some real vicious, hungry, mean beasts. Let me know when you're feeling brave enough to face them. I'm ready to fight in the arena. Good. It'll make a real man out of you. But there are rules. I get to pick the creature you fight against. Once the fight starts, I'll close the gate behind you. You can only get out by pulling the lever next to the gate. Lever? Yeah. As soon as you pull it, we will stop the fight. We'll open the gate as fast as we can. We'll get you out. Unless the creatures get you first. Just concentrate on the fight, and don't pull the lever until they're all dead. Leave before they're all dead, and all you get is the shame of defeat. Any questions? I got it. Good. Then you're ready for the first challenge. Ready? Give the signal, and I'll let the creatures loose. I want to fight. Good. Every time you win, I make it harder for you. And don't worry about going easy on the creatures, because they won't go easy on you. What am I fighting? You'll see soon enough. Get yourself ready. Taking you to the arena. You did well. Like I promised. The possessions of someone who wasn't as good as you in there. Thanks. Well, I enjoyed watching that. Reminded me of how things used to be. Well, I couldn't have done it. Well, not these days, anyway. I bet you could have. Not anymore. Too old now. These days... All I can do is watch others take the risks. Come back when you're ready for the next challenge. I'll be here, getting everything ready for you. Do you fight in the arena? I can't. The fight has left these old bones. When I was younger, I was allowed to fight the creatures that were in our vents. 
and many were capable opponents. Been here my whole life. Never been outside. Is it true the air is fresher there? Guess I'll never know now. Not with those things trying to take over out there. What should I know about the Morcons? I'll tell you of my people, as long as you're listening. I've been around longer than anybody, so I should know. We've been down here for far too long. We've only just started to explore the surface. And with the light from the surface, in Discord. Discord? The Poachers. They're a new group among us. The Resisters protect our laws, but the Poachers want to change everything. Ravak knows. I don't hate all that they say. But they just can't leave things alone. What is it that you don't like about the Poachers? They are too open. If they were just bringing things from outside into the grotto, I wouldn't mind. Can't say I don't like the arena fights, after all. But they let themselves be led astray by the ideas of outsiders. It's too much change. Plenty here don't like it. And it's driving us apart, splitting the strength of the Morgons. You think life under the Resisters is better? If they serve the Oblivion, then yes. I want things to stay as they are. I want us to remain true to our faith. If we did that, we wouldn't need to worry every day about our lives being turned upside down. We would know real peace. You would know boredom. Only the young think such things. I've heard enough. Well, I hope you learned something useful. I want to fight. But I already told you we're not set up for another fight yet. Keep coming back. You'll soon get the fight you're looking for. I'll let you know when we're ready. I want to fight. But I already told you we're... I'll let... I want to learn from you. Then listen up, boy. Ilka gone home to Ravak. I can hardly. Watching you.
Do you uh, have a few shards to spare for me? Here, take these. <laughs> Thanks. That's that's good of you. Now the day looks a little less bleak. Now what you say, I just don't see it like that. Apparently they live to the north. I guess you can see it that way. Anyone who says so is a damn idiot. So, you made it past Batulga, huh? Welcome to the cellar, where only the alcohol counts. Here, this one's on the house. Thanks. If you want anything else, just holler. I don't serve piss here. Just the finest hooch from the hands of our dead enemies. Is everyone treated so well here? Of course! The best wares bring the best customers, as I always say. Not every innkeeper can say that with a straight face. Nobody here keeps a tab. So, the guy at the door was an exception, right? How so? He was asking for shards. Is that right? I'll deal with that right away. What did you say? Somebody's got to take care of the idiots. Off the stool, scum! If you believe the rumors, they left. Ain't all as bad as it seems. I really don't care that much. You sell into my customers? No. No, I... Looks like Batulga's getting sloppy. Best remind him of his duties, and introduce you to each other. You know the rule, no shards, no cellar. I'll be sorted soon. Promise. You'll be a bloody pulp soon. Get out of here, you fucking parasite. You can't keep your mouth shut. You're only gonna make that things worse. beggar's back. You're full of I shit. wouldn't be so sure. You and me both. It doesn't leave me totally cold. I heard things in a Bessa are dire. Somebody's got to take care of the idiots. Why do I feel like I'm repeating myself? You've got your ears everywhere, too. I guess you can see it that way. I hate beggars. Those low lowlifes have no business in my cellar. Eh, what have I got to be upset about? You want to buy something? I need information. Ah, then you've come to the right place. The only small problem is that talking gives me such a dry mouth. Of course, I'd love to just help myself to a drink, but I wouldn't be able to stay in business if I did. Know what I mean? You want payment. To the point, huh? Then, yes, some small remuneration is required. Gotta make a living, after all, and times are hard. Cheer up, though. First one's for free. Who could teach me something around here? There are a couple of places where you can learn. If you're interested in melee combat, talk to Batulga. But, <laughs> you would have figured that out on your own. Attila would be an alternative, but you'd have to be quick about it. Who knows how long the old codger will be at it. I'm sure he's already rotting away in his arena. <laughs> Sloppy can teach you a thing or two about mining, but who knows where you'll find his lazy ass. If you want to know how to survive out there for more than an hour, Vlad might be your man. I think, anyway. But fuck it. The most important thing is what I can teach you. I'll show you how to take damage. What good are your muscles if you can't take a hit? And if you look at it that way, you should invest your shards with me right now. I need information. How can I earn a few shards? You're looking at your answer. Uh, I'm not sure I'm cut out for bar work. <laughs> not what I had in mind. I know a fighter when I see one. So how about taking part in my little contests? 
All you need is guts and some shards for your wager. And this is all legal, right? Legal? Of course, absolutely. Just a harmless way to let off some steam. And nobody needs to know if a few shards change hands, do they? How did you come to have an inn? The cellar ain't just any old inn. But how I came by it is a long story. I could give you the shortened version if you're really interested. I'm all ears. Okay. Well, I inherited the cellar from my father. Ravak bless his soul. Back then, he was a thorn in the resistor's side. When the dispute between the poachers and the resistors worsened, there was a change of thinking. In what way? Let's just say alcohol is good for more than just wrecking your liver. It can take the edge off pain. So what? Well, pain features pretty heavily in the resistor's punishments. Haven't you heard of the blood cistern and the tormentors? If not, then lucky for you. Not every Morkan who claims to serve Ravak can cope with torture without something to lessen the agony. The Resisters know that. That's why they turn a blind eye to booze. Don't practice what you preach, as the saying goes, I think. And all of this so the poachers don't go to the barricades. I see. Then what? Well, rowdy drunks are just as dangerous as a couple of troublemakers. So I devised a clever system to keep some order. But Tulga... Isn't that bad for business? Not at all. But Tulga makes sure that only those with deep pockets are welcome in the cellar. <laughs> Alexit has a nasty habit of disappearing out of the pockets of those who don't know how to defend themselves. The system works for me. Yeah, some scum slips through here and there, but Batulga is always happy to take out the trash. What can you tell me about this? Hmm. Interesting. How does a stranger get an amulet like this? Zarina sent me. Ah, so you're doing a bit of digging around, are you? Well, I know a little about it. Come closer. Marat found it here. It, uh, it bears the face of Crichton. Who's Crichton? Shh! Keep your voice down. You don't know? Crichton's the Forbidden God. He once existed peacefully alongside Ravak. But now... Believing in him, even talking about him, can get you in a whole heap of shit. But, it looks like there are still a few followers who haven't been murdered yet. Did you see who lost it? No, it was a busy night. Could barely keep tabs on the bar, let alone lost property. What's so bad about it? Well, let's just say whoever lost it won't be pleased. The amulet suggests there's a group of people who don't believe in the value of balance. I'd guess Zarina doesn't like that one bit. I don't have any other questions. That's good, because probably the only thing I haven't told you is the color of my underwear. What do you have to offer? Take a look for yourself. Apparently they're still in Goliath. No matter what you say, I just don't see it like What'd that. You say? They just threw him out of the city. No, I can't. Ain't got the time for you right now. Death is lurking everywhere out there. Thank you. Not interested. Ain't 
all as bad as it seems. Still just as many of those cutthroats. I got nothing to prove. It doesn't leave me totally cold. I can't right now. Not again! Guards! Resistors? Ugh. You don't want to get mixed up with them. Guards! Dead prisoners!
Right. I was saying... You know what to do. Do it. I've said everything. Best you leave now. Can't you see I'm busy? So dumb after all. Think carefully about what you're doing. Wait, I heard you had a certain amulet. How do you know? Does it matter? You got the amulet from Zarina, and now you're trying to find out who it belongs to. Come here. It's better we talk in private. Let's get to the point, okay? The amulet doesn't belong to you. I want it, and I want you to tell Zarina that someone stole it. So, name your price. I have a couple of questions first. Can I trust you? You'd better, if you want your amulet back. Don't make me regret talking when I could have just killed you and taken it. I suppose we both need to establish some trust. You're no Morcon. I'll answer your questions. But, if I find you trying to trick us, I'll have to kill you. Who are these others you're part of? We're followers of Crichton. We work in secret in the very depths of the Underground. The Resisters found us. They torture and kill us. And the Poachers? They're the same as the Resisters. Well, at least most of them are. They hunt us because we threaten their way of life. When the Grotto opened up, old, forgotten ideals came flooding in. And we're a threat to them. They're afraid we'll be able to bring them down one day. What a day that would be. What's the story behind the amulet? The Crichton amulet goes back centuries. The story goes that there were once two gods, Ravok and Crichton. When we created the grotto to save ourselves from the Great Comet, they fought for dominion over our people. Obviously, Ravok won in the end. He banished Crichton from the kingdom of the Morkons and set out the commandments, which the Morkons still follow to this day. The commandments of balance. You really believe in this Crichton god? Of course. But he's so much more than just a god. He is inspiration itself. The embodiment of freedom, peace, and self-determination. Do you understand? We Morcons haven't always been so brutal. The old stories have been forbidden by Ravak's followers, but we remember them. We were once like everyone else outside the grotto. No prisoners, no torturing. We never inflicted any pain upon ourselves. And there were no blood rituals. We still remember those times, even if the others don't. Maybe now you see what's at stake here. Right here. Right now, the future of the Morcons is in your hands. Serena and her resistors can't be allowed to find out that Crichton's followers are growing in strength. About the amulet. Here, 
It's yours. Thank you. I have to admit, I wasn't sure you weren't going to go to Zarina behind our backs. Now you're one of us, whether you like it or not. But don't worry. We won't let you down. We'll fight for a better future, together. What do you need from me? We could really use some help from an outsider like you. Somehow we have to make sure that Zarina stops looking for us. The story of the amulet must come to its rightful end. But I know from my own experience that Zarina won't be satisfied until someone's been punished. So you need a patsy? Yes, it's the only way. Someone has to pay. If we can, we'll find a poacher to blame. Not a resistor? No. Serena would see right through that. So, what's the plan? Find someone to plant the amulet on. Someone who Serena thinks is stupid enough to keep hold of it, but not be a follower of Crichton. There's a trader in the living quarters who deals in stolen goods. We plant it on him and let Serena know he has it. She'll find it with him along with other illegal goods in his possession. That should be enough to convince her that there's no conspiracy against Ravok. So, I'm doing the planting? No, I'll do it. You... you stand out too much. I live here and I'm a minion technician. Everyone knows me and ignores me. I blend in with the crowd. But I need you to make sure Zarina knows where to look. Go see her and tell her this. Someone stole the amulet while you were making your way through the living quarters. You overheard a conversation in the cellar between two men who were talking about a trader who deals in stolen goods. You don't know what these men looked like. It was dark. Got it? So, I'll go to Zarina and tell her that someone stole the amulet. Then I'll say, when I was looking for the thief, I overheard a conversation in the cellar about a traitor who deals in stolen goods. So yeah, I got it. Good. Serena has spies everywhere. It won't take her long to find the traitor. You need to go straight to her and do what we talked about. Meanwhile, I'll hide the amulet. We'll talk after you come back. Maybe later. Whatever you want to tell me is probably unconvincing. She would go getting involved with him.
You're not so stupid after all, friend. Stop! You're not one of Ravok's followers. Get out of here. everything you hear. <laughs> Don't do that again. Yeah, just you fuck off already. Good decision. I really couldn't care less. Real social behavior. Can't you see I'm busy? I have no time for the likes of you. I don't have time right now.
Oh, something stinks down there. Better keep that trap door closed. Oh, something stinks down there. Better keep that trap door closed. Like you were, you mean? Find the cart and get rid of the bodies. Can't leave them lying around for the rest of the <laughs> Move! No, not now. Finally, I can take over her job. You really want to leave? Why not come with me? With those purple things everywhere?
Think carefully about what you're doing. Keep your fingers to yourself, okay? What do you want? Says so is a damn idiot. Uh, don't worry about it. I don't believe everything you hear. I've heard that before. Whatever you want to tell me is probably unconvincing. Aren't you making this a little too easy? Nobody cares. Just don't think about it. We should clean up our own house first. I got nothing to prove. Somebody's got to take care of it. You got your ears over there, too. Um, whatever you want to tell me is probably unconvincing. We should clean up our own house first. You have to take a chance when you find one. Somebody's got to take care of it. Dyer. You've got your ears everywhere, too. I really don't care that much. They just threw them out. Do you believe the rumors they left? 